Hi there. This is your old buddy, Mr. Hyde. And I have with me my assistant, Dr. Jekyll. Now, wait a minute, Clyde. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's Dr. Lacey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Friends, before we enjoy cutting capers with Clyde, I want just a serious moment with you. The only reason that I use Clyde Hyde in my meetings across America and even in foreign countries is for one purpose, and that is to bring people under the sound of the gospel of Jesus Christ who might not come just to hear preaching. I would like to ask you a question. If you died right now, would you go to heaven? Do you know that your sins have been washed away and that you're ready to meet God? Jesus Christ said, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Now, he told this to a religious man named Nicodemus, a man who believed in God. He was even a teacher of the scriptures, lived a very moral life, and yet he was lost and on the road to hell. Jesus told him that he must be born again. And dear friend, just as sure as Nicodemus had to be born again if he was going to heaven, so do you. Now, the Bible tells us how this new birth takes place, and so many people have a misunderstanding concerning this. So many feel that it's baptism, taking catechism or being confirmed, going to the communion table or a confession booth, or giving money to a church or preaching in a pulpit or playing an organ or a piano or singing in a choir or serving on a deacon board or some such thing. But this is not true. The Bible says that the new birth only comes when a person calls on Jesus Christ with his own mouth and receives him into his heart as his personal Savior. In John 1.12, it says, As many as received him, to them give you power to become the children of God. Jesus said, Except you repent, you'll perish. So in other words, we must turn to Christ from our sins and with our own mouth call upon him and ask him to forgive us of our sins and come into our heart and be our personal Savior. If you've never done this, it doesn't make any difference what church you belong to or if you don't belong to a church. You're lost. You're still in your sins. You need Jesus Christ. And if you've never settled this matter, I ask you, would you turn to Him? Even now, before you enjoy cutting capers with Clyde, why don't you just bow your head right where you are and say something like this to the Lord. Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. I know I've done many things wrong before you. But here and now, I ask you to cleanse me of all my sins. And here and now, I receive you into my heart as my personal Savior. And my friend, if you will, Jesus said, Him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. He said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in. Will you do it today? Will you settle that matter? Just call on Jesus. Turn from your sins. Ask Him to forgive you. Invite Him into your heart. Then I'll meet you in heaven. And then you can really enjoy cutting capers with Clyde. Well, Clyde, here we are. Yes, sir. <laughs> here we are. Yes, sir. We're we're here, Clyde. Yes, sir. We uh, we're here, aren't we? Yes. Yes, we're here. Yeah, we're here. Yes, sir. We got here. Yes. Yes. We're we're here, Clyde. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where are we? Clyde, we're in Springfield, Missouri. Oh yeah, at the Unitarian Church. <laughs> No, 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 Clyde. We're at the Baptist Temple. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Brother Victory's church. No, Vickery. Victory. Oh, well, we'll leave it alone. Clyde. <laughs> I was going to kill it. But leave it alone. Leave it alone. <laughs> Hello, Brother Victory. 
Can he take it? Yes, he can take it, Clyde. Listen, uh, Clyde, the first thing I'd like for you to do, I- I'd like for you to sing your theme song for everyone. My theme song? Yes. Would you do it, please? Okay. Are you kids ready? I mean, you kids on the organ and the piano. See, there, there's... Oh, look at over there on the piano. Clyde, will you please just, just sing your song now? <laughs> Give me a note, kids. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah. So let the sun shine in this hill with a green smiler's never look in. <laughs> Fooled you, didn't I? <laughs> Crowners never win. So let the Sunshine in Face it with a hand Open up your heart Eat your heart out, Mac <laughs> <laughs> And let the sun Shine <laughs> What are you doing? I am taking a deep breath. <laughs> well, what for? I'm going to sing that last note real long. Yes, sir. I want you to stop all the foolishness. You what? I want you to stop all the foolishness. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> what do you mean, oh, no, I don't? I said stop the foolishness. You don't want me to stop. I don't? No. What do you mean I don't want you to stop the foolishness? Because if I stop the foolishness, you'll be out of work. <laughs> <laughs> well, Clyde, now listen, just cut it out. Okay, I quit. You quit? Good thought. I'm leaving. Come back here. I'm leaving. Come back here. I'm leaving. Come back here now, Clyde. Listen, stay and help me out. You want me to help you out? Yes. Which way did you come in? No, no, I mean... (laughs) I want you to stay and help me now, Clyde. On one condition. On one condition? Yeah. What's that? That you play a game with me. You want me to play a game with you? Yeah, that's right. What kind of a game? Well, just a game. Well, what's it called? Building and loan. Building and loan? Yeah, yeah. How do you play building and loan? You get out of the building and leave me alone. <laughs> now listen here, young fella. What's the matter? I think the devil's got a hold of you. Yes, so do I. Stop it. <laughs> oh, looky there. Clyde. Clyde. Right. Don't you pick on Brother Vickery. Oh, you're kidding. No, I don't want you to pick on Brother Vickery. He is my friend. <laughs> I'll fix that. Now, listen here, Clyde. If you're going to start that way, then you are going to say something nice about Brother Vickery right now. I are. You are. I ain't going to do it. You're going to say something nice about Brother Vickery. Okay. All right, that's better. Let's hear it. <coughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you folks ready? They ain't ready. Yes, they are, Clyde. They're just stage frightened. <laughs> All right, now listen. I want you to say something nice about Brother Victor. Yeah. Yeah. I can't think of nothing nice about him. Clyde. <laughs> now stop that. Say something nice about him. Okay, I'll say it. All right, let's hear it. <coughs> Harry Victor. Yes. Looks like a million dollars. Well, that's nice of you, Clyde, to say that Brother Vicky looks like a million dollars. That's right. What do you mean he looks like a million dollars? He's all green and wrinkled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Clyde, you're terrible. Now, that's enough of that. I want you to say something nice about Brother Vickery. Oh, all right. All right. 
Gary Vickery. Yes. Looks like a trillion dollars. He looks like a trillion dollars. What do you mean? I said he looks like a trillion dollars. Clyde, you have never seen a trillion dollars. I know. He looks like something I ain't never seen before. <laughs> Clyde, you are absolutely terrible. Now, I want you to say something nice about Brother Vickery. Please, Clyde. I'll say it. All right. Gary Vickery is not scatterbrained. He's not scatterbrained? He ain't got no brains to scatter. <laughs> hey, you know what? What? I went to the doctor today. You went to the doctor today? Yeah, right here in Springfield. You went to the doctor here in Springfield? Yes, I did. What's the matter? My wooden leg is hurting me. Your wooden leg... Ouch! Oh, I'm sorry. Watch it. Your wooden leg is hurting you. And guess who was at the doctor's office? Who was at the doctor's office? Harry Vickery. <laughs> well, why was Brother Vickery at the doctor's office? Well, he's got a problem. He has a problem. Larry Mack. No, no, on the Clyde. <laughs> now, he, he has a, he has a, some physical problem. You didn't think it was mental, did you? Clyde, now, wait a minute. Why was Brother Victory at the doctor's? Well, he has a strange growth on his neck. <laughs> he has a strange growth on his neck? Yeah. Well, Clyde, what is it? <laughs> his head. <laughs> help! 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 Clyde. <laughs> Clyde. Ah! Clyde. Ah, well, who is it? It's just me. Oh, it's you. Yes. Call a doctor. What am I going to call a doctor for? Call the FBI. Call the Girl Scouts. Do something. What's the matter, Clyde? I... I've gone blind. No, Clyde, you haven't gone blind. But then turn on the lights. No. No, Clyde, the lights are on. Then I'm blind. No, no, listen. I have blindfolded you. You what? I blindfolded you. What in your cat hair did you do that for? <laughs> Clyde, I, I, I want to play a little game tonight. A little game? Yes, I want to play a little game. What kind of a game? A, a little guessing game. Oh, no! What's the matter? Did you say a kissing game? No, I said a guessing game. Oh, I just didn't want to kiss you. Now listen, Clyde. No, I, I want you to guess where you are. You want me to guess where I are? Yes, I do. All right, Clyde. I want you to guess where you are. Well, what should I do? Well, I'll try listening or something. Okay. I got it. I knew where we are. Where are we? We're at the cemetery. No, Clyde, we're not at the cemetery. Why would you say we're at the cemetery? It's so quiet. Well, try again. Yeah. I got it. I know where we are. Where are we? We're at the morgue. No, Clyde. We're... Well, it's so quiet. Well, listen, try something besides listening. What should I try? Try uh, smelling or something. Smelling? Yes. Well, all right. I don't believe it. I know where we are. Where are we, Clyde? We're at the stockyards. No, Clyde, we're not at the stockyards. We're not? No, we're not. 
Well, if you're not at the stockyards, Bill Jeffers is around here somewhere. Will you try again, please? Yeah, I don't have to. You don't have to? No, not now. I know where we are. You mean all of a sudden now you know where we are? Yes, I do. Well, how come? I heard Ron Stidham laugh. You heard Ron Stidham laugh? Yes, I did. Now I know where you are. Where are we? We're at the insane asylum. <laughs> Glenn, would you like to see where we are? I would like to see where you are. All right. Ah! I was right. What do you mean you were right? We are at the insane asylum. Look at all those nuts out there. <laughs> That's just terrible, Clank. Hey, look who's here. What do you mean, look who's here? There's lots of folks here. Harry Vickery. Now, Clyde. What? If you're going to say anything, I want you to say something nice about Brother Vickery. Really? Yes, really. Do I got to? You got to. I guess I better. Yes, I guess you better. Now, let's hear you say something nice about Brother Vickery. Yeah. Well, oh, boy, that's really tough. Come on, say something nice about him. Okay, I'll say it. All right, let's hear it. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready? I am ready. All right. But I need some music. You need some music? I need some saying nice music. Will you give him something on the organ, just anything... The shadow knows. <laughs> oh, Doctor, you're terrible. All right, you've had your music. Now, let's hear it. All right. <clears throat> Harry Vickery was born on a flower. Why, Clyde, that's beautiful. That's poetic. Harry Vickery was born on a flower. Yeah, the Mayflower. <laughs> All right, young fella. What's the matter? I don't like the way you're, you're doing things. Well, my cousin likes it. So what? Well, my cousin's here tonight. Your cousin is here in this audience, right here in the audience. Right here in the or the audience. Your 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 cousin is here. Hi, cousin. Clyde, you're kidding me. Someone from the dummy family. Watch it! Watch it! Oh, I'm sorry. Some someone from your family is here. That's right. Hi, cousin. Well, I want to meet his cousin. Don't you, folks? Certainly. Clyde, point out your cousin. I, I want to see your cousin. I don't like the sound of your laugh. I don't like the look of your face. Now watch it. Now, Clyde, point out your cousin. I, I want to see your cousin. All right. You see in the section to the left? You mean this one or the one way over there? Not a close one. This section? Yeah, this one here. Your cousin is in that section. Yeah, hi, cousin. All right, Clyde, point out your cousin. Well, you see the fifth row? The fifth row. One, two, three, four, five. Your cousin is in the fifth row? Yeah, 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 yeah. You see the blonde lady with the red and white dress? The blonde lady with the red and white dress? You mean the one that's turning as red as her dress? Yeah, 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 yeah. You mean the one that's crawling under the pew? Yeah, 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 yeah. Clyde, you mean that lovely lady is your cousin? No, my cousin's the ugly guy in the green suit sitting next to her. <laughs> You're not going to start that again. Oh, yes, I are. <laughs> Clyde, I don't like the tone of your laugh. 
<laughs> wait till you hear it. Now, wait a minute. All right, the first thing I want you to do, clutch Jack, I want you to sing your theme song for everyone. Okay, I'll do it for $30. You will do it for nothing. Oh, no, I won't. You're going to sing the song. I guess I are. Yes. All right. Are the musicians... Oh, look at over there. That's Connie. Woo! Now, Clyde. Clyde, listen. Connie's husband is around here somewhere. I ain't scared of that little runt. Where is he? Clyde. Was that for me or him? I'm not sure. How are you, Sugar? Clyde. Her name is not Sugar. You just don't know. Oh, I see. Well, listen, I, I believe we're ready to have the music, please, before I get a punch in the nose. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Clyde. Yeah. So me the sunshine Fish you with a dream Smilers never lose In Yeah Look out, little literary <laughs> Will you just go on and finish your song? Okay, where was I? You were on that stupid long end Oh, yes Stupid. Yes, go on. Crowners never win. So let the sun shine in. Face you with a green. Open up your love. Isn't that lovely? Eat your heart out, Mac. <laughs> and let the sun Here it comes. Oh, no, not again. Oh, yes. My fans demand it. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> what do you want to know if I'm ready for? Who do you think you're kidding? <laughs> 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 Why do you always hold that hold that note so long? Because I like to see you turn red in the face. <laughs> well, look who's here. Oh, Clyde, no. Oh, yes. Old Harry Vickery. Clyde, Brother Vickery is not old. He ain't. No, he's not. He looks old. Clyde, Brother Vickery is not old, I said. Well, how old is he? Oh, well... <clears throat> I got it, didn't I? Clyde, now listen, let, let's talk about something. I want to know how old he is. You said he wasn't old. Clyde, now listen, uh, something else, another subject, please. I want to know. Well, he's around 45. <laughs> if he's around 45, it's a second time around. Why? <laughs> Now, how old is he? Well, he's, uh, <clears throat> he's, uh, <clears throat> he's, uh, well, he, he's approaching 46. From which direction? <laughs> well, you stop that. Don't pick on Brother Vickery. After all, he has not been himself lately. Oh, have you noticed the improvement, too? Clyde. 
Now, I want you to stop this because Brother Vickery is a very important man. He is? He's very important. What do you mean? Do you know when he was born, they fired 21 guns? Ooh! Too bad they missed. <laughs> now, I want you to stop this. After all, men like Harry Vickery don't grow on trees. Now they swing from them. Clyde, do you stop that? Terrible. <laughs> Boy, they're eating it up tonight, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Clyde, we must move on to the program, but I'm going to give you one chance to redeem yourself. I ain't for sale. You're going to be. Uh-oh. Go ahead. Oh, now listen. I want you to say something nice about Harry Vickery. Oh, not again. Yes, I want to hear you say something nice. Well, I've got to have some saying nice music. Can we have some saying nice music for this guy? <laughs> Tune in next week, folks. <laughs> To the edge of the knife. Clyde! You've had your music. Now, say something nice about Brother Vickery. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> Let's hear it. <laughs> Have you got your throat cleared yet? Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> all right. Let's hear it. All right. Here it comes. All right. Harry Vickery. Yes. Is a fallen well, Clyde, that's beautiful. Harry Vickery is a fallen star. Yeah, too bad he had to land on his face. <laughs> What's with these stupid sunglasses? What are you talking about? What are you doing? Traveling incognito? No, I travel in the suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know why you're wearing the sunglasses. Oh, no, you don't. What do you mean, no, I don't? It'll be embarrassing. A uh, client. What? I would like to know why you're wearing the sunglasses. Well, it's because of the light. Because of the light? Yeah, the light. Well, Clyde, the light in here isn't that bad. Well, you don't understand. Well, what do you mean, the light? It's the light that shines off of Brother Gaddy's head. <laughs> now, Clyde, that's terrible. Poor Brother Gaddy, look at him. He's turning red. I ain't through it him yet. Clyde, that's terrible. Now, listen, Brother Gaddy is not bald. No, he's just too tall for his hair. <laughs> now, listen, Clyde, that's a terrible thing for you to, to do it to a man like that. You know what he's got? What has he got? He's got waving hair. Waving hair? Yeah, it's waving goodbye. <laughs> now, listen, Clyde, actually, what, what Brother Gaddy has, he has a crew cut. A crew cut? Yes. Looks to me like the crew bailed out. <laughs> you know what? What? When Brother Gaddy goes to the barber shop. What about when he goes to the barber shop? They don't charge him for cutting his hair. They don't charge him for cutting his hair? No, they charge him for searching for it. <laughs> oh, Clyde, you, you, you're, I don't know about you. I, I just, you're going to get somebody hurt, and I'm afraid it's going to be me one of these days. Listen, Glyne. Oh, take off those stupid... Ouch! Well, I'm sorry, but I can't stand these glasses on you. Now, listen. What? Oh, the eye hurts in my eyes. Oh, it does not. Now, listen. Have you been enjoying your stay here in Springfield? Oh, yes, I have, all except for one thing. What's that? It's too cold here. It's too cold? Yeah, in fact, it's so cold I caught one. 
Caught one what? A cold, stupid. Oh, Clyde. You caught a cold? Yes, I did. You know what? What? I... I think I... I... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, no. Oh, yes. No. Yes. No, Clyde, you're not going to sneeze. Oh, yes, I are. No, no, Clyde, please don't sneeze. It's embarrassing. I, I, I. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's going to. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great Scott. Did you ever notice how ugly that organist is upside down? <laughs> I just... Now stop that. Get back to whatever you were doing. Oh, as I do. You were sneezing. Oh, yes. <laughs> Boy, he's a sight. Clyde. <laughs> Will you go on and sneeze? <laughs> he kind of looks like Frankenstein. Clyde, stop that. See, you got a handkerchief? I think so. Hurry up! Hurry up! Clyde, mm. are you all right? Mm. <laughs> oh, try to hold on. Clyde, are you all right? <clears throat> You're not going to sneeze? You're not going to sneeze. Mm-mm. Now listen. The last time you did that, you sneezed in my face. Mm-mm. You wouldn't do that again. <laughs> Clive, you promise if I take the handkerchief away, you won't sneeze. Mm-hmm. You promise. Mm-hmm. You're not going to sneeze. Mm-mm. Okay, I'm going to take it away. Mm. You're not going to sneeze? <laughs> All right, I'm going to take it away. Mm. It's okay. Mm. All right. Ooh, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah! <laughs> I'll get you. I'll help. <laughs> Well, Clyde? Yes, sir. This is it. This is it. Yes, this is it. Yes, sir. This is it. Mm hmm. This is it, Clyde. Yes, sir. It sure is, isn't it? This is it. Yes, this is it. What is it? This is the last service. Oh, no. Oh, no. More picking on Lord Vickery. No. No, Clyde, this, this is the last service. Oh, that's terrible. Yes, I know, but we, we have to move on. Well, then I guess I should make my announcement. You have an announcement to make? Yes, I do. Well, Clyde, I really don't think we have time for it this evening. You don't? No, I don't. Well, I want to make my announcement. Oh, all right. If you've got an announcement to make, let's hear it. I changed my mind. I'm not going to do it if you're going to be that way. Now, wait a minute. I want to hear your announcement. I ain't going to do it. Clyde? Right. I want to hear your announcement. No. Do you folks want to hear Clyde's announcement? Yeah. See, you're outvoted. There are a bunch of dummies. Clyde. Now, I want to hear your announcement. I ain't going to do it. You're going to make the announcement. 
Go fly a kite. Oh, Clyde. All right, I've got a way of getting it out of you. What? I'll hypnotize you. Ha! You couldn't hypnotize me. Oh, you don't think I could? No, you couldn't. You don't think so? No, sir, you couldn't, uh, dead is to say. Uh, 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 well, that, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Who couldn't hypnotize him, huh? <laughs> now we'll get it out of him. You are in my power. I are in your power. You are at my... (laughs) Uh, Some of you are not helping right now. (laughs) You are at my disposal. I are at your garbage can. <laughs> disposal. Waste basket. <laughs> disposal. Disposal. All right. Now listen. Glide in a moment. I'm going to snap my fingers and you're going to wake up. But you're not going to remember that you were hypnotized. And you're going to very gladly make your announcement. Do you understand? I stand under. No wonder they call him a dummy. Do you understand? I understand. All right. (laughs) Well, let's see where we're we. Uh, you had an announcement you were going to make. Oh, yes, an announcement. Yes, we'd like to hear it, Clyde. Okay. All right, let's hear it. All right. Are you ready? We're ready. Uh, uh, Do you know Melody Mack? Do I know Melody Mack? Yes, I know Melody Mack. She's a very lovely young lady. Well, you know what? What? I'm going to marry her. (laughs) Clyde... You're not going to marry Melody Mac. Oh, yes, I are. Clyde, you are not. I are so. No, you're not going to marry Melody. Why ain't I? Well, son, I have news for you. But step. Pretty girls do not marry dummies. They don't? No, Clyde, pretty girls don't marry dummies. You're sure? I am sure. Pretty girls don't marry dummies? No. Are you positive? I am positive. Pretty girls do not marry dummies. Well, then I don't understand. Well, what is it you don't understand? Well, Mrs. Vickery did. <laughs> 